Phil Prane, Martin Brown Metroplex, uh, Vice President of Operations. Technology is an integral part of what we do every day. It's a facilitator to help us keep legislative compliance, which is obviously our, our paramount goal is to, to stay within compliance with the regulations. It's also how effectively we can do that without impacting too much on our productivity and obviously keep our costs down. So technology for us is an enabler that, that we look to explore. We don't want to be bleeding edge, but we want to be at the leading edge. In terms of your operation, um, in practical terms, how are you deploying it? We're deploying it at the moment within the Dublin facility to use an integrated solution for engineered work standards, which gives us labor productivity, combined with a stock location system, which protects our traceability, and using voice technology to enhance the picking productivity that we previously had lost under our old traceability system just through the use of barcode scanning. Was it a big decision? What happened was we were compelled to do it. The, the original traceability regulation compelled us to put traceability in. The way that we would have done it in an ideal world would have been to put a stock location system in first, then put the traceability system over top of that, and then exploit voice technology. Unfortunately, legislation predicated that we do it in the reverse order, which I wouldn't recommend to everybody. So we were compelled through the productivity loss and the increase in cost to react to something. The other key thing that we had, being a small organization with limited capital resources and limited IT resources, we needed to find a solution that was a fit for us, that didn't require us to go to a full-blown warehouse management system and the cost that that would entail. So what we were looking for was a tailored solution to fit the needs that we had today and for the future. Um, in terms of, uh, if, if, if I was to walk into your business today and uh, look at at this technology in operation. Um, what are the visible signs of that? I mean, is it uh, terminals, is it um, devices, or, or how does it look and feel in practical terms um, for your colleagues? What you would had in a, t a previous system was a lot of paper. So we use labels to label every case that we sent out. We had guys scanning barcodes at the pick face as a separate exercise. Today what you'll see is guys using voice technology at the picking face which frees them up from their hands free, their eyes are free. So they're not looking at a piece of paper, they're not required to stick a label on, which allows them to be that much more productive and more efficient. And um, it sounds like it could be a painful process for some companies, but it sounds like you might be through the other side now. Uh, uh, I suppose from your point of view, it's hard to consider how you operated before, is it? I mean, are you seeing uh, real savings and, and real advantages as compared to you know, how, how it uh, was before and, and uh, w what would it be like to go back to maybe the old system now with the benefit of hindsight of, of uh, what you currently have in position? Yeah, you, what you have is you've seen double-digit productivity increases, and I don't think we've fully exploited it to this stage. The, the issue for us that is somewhat non-traditional is we've, we've been working through a development. So traditionally, you'd buy a package and you'd implement that package. We didn't find a package on the marketplace that suited our needs, so we partnered with Waveform and Chainlogic and Pacific Labor to put together the integrated solution that we needed. So it's somewhat non-traditional implementation. We would absolutely do it again, and I think that people are going to reap the benefit of the hard work that's been put in by uh, the team at Metroplex in the future. Very good. And um, what kind of applications do you think it might have, maybe for people looking at this, uh, what sectors do you think particularly uh, would benefit from the type of solution that you've introduced? Particularly the food service industry. The, the legislation that came with EU 178 2002 that said we have a requirement to f trace food items, followed up by a subsequent food contact packaging regulation, which says we now have to trace products which touch food. Uh, legislation is going to come thick and fast. There's the cons consumer protection and consumer awareness rises about what they eat, consume, how they, they eat at home, and they're going to be more choosy about what their options are, and we have to build that brand trust in the food service sector. Are you future-proofed? We have, what we've done is we've built a solution that allows us to build on it. So we have a stable platform that allow us to develop further. One of the key things that we decided we wanted to do was we weren't going to try and fix everything at once. So we said this is stable, this is what we need today, with one eye on the future as to what we're going to build on. So point of delivery, uh, cap signature capture, uh, GPS track based SSCCs. So we've got a stable base today that will allow us to exploit this technology in the future.